The Thor Yield app for iOS and Android has just had a major update and redesign. So we're gonna go over what's new, how to set everything up, and how you can start using it to track your ThorChain LP positions and the rest of your portfolio. So setting up the app for the first time, we first have to get started and add our wallet addresses and accounts. So we're just gonna click next and we can give the account a name if we want to because we can have multiple accounts if we want to track different parts of our portfolio separately. And then you are just going to input a wallet address or multiple wallet addresses here or even a Thor name address. So for this first example, let's enter a Thor name address which already has wallet addresses of other chains assigned to it. We do have a separate video on setting that up if that's something you want to check out. I'll just click add Thor name and you can see it's pulling the addresses that I have assigned to that Thor name. So done with that and continue. And there at the top, we'll see a overview of all of our pools that we have. I only have one pool on this account. I'll add some more in just a second, but we can see a breakdown of this ETH rune pool. You can even click into it for a lot more details. And you also have the eye icon in the top right where you can choose to hide balances if you want to do that. And I'm gonna add another account here by tapping up at the top and clicking new account. You could also add more addresses to the same account. I'll just leave the name for now and I'm going to paste in an Ethereum address. You also have the option to scan a QR code and I'll save that. So now let's switch over and view the other account. So for this one, you'll see there are a lot more balances and a lot more LP positions. And the Thor Yield app makes it super easy because you don't have to keep all your addresses handy. You just load up these accounts once and then you can just tap the app open at any time and keep an eye on the changes in your LP position and your balances. So let's look into an example with this BTC pool. So you'll see all the stats that you really want to look for, your LP versus HODL, which is how well your LP is performing versus if you had just held those assets instead. This one is up 1.22% in 88 days, so pacing a bit over 5% APY. We can see if impermanent loss protection would need to apply, in this case, no, because it's profitable. And we'll see all the other changes in value. These are, of course, due to the coin price fluctuations, and we'll see what is redeemable and a breakdown of where exactly our rewards have come from. So moving on, let's check out the next tab, which is for monitoring your Thor staking, so your Thor swap token staking. Here you'll see a price graph over time of the Thor token, and it says that we need to add our account. We also see all the relevant info about the staking contract and what the APY is right now. So let's add an account here. You do have to add your wallets for each section of Thor Yield just so you can keep everything organized depending on how you have things separated, meaning the addresses you add for your LP accounts won't automatically pull into your staking accounts or your wallet portfolio tracking account. So you'll have to add it for each one so you can just keep everything how you want it. So let's save that. And now we can see our VThor balance of 1000 VThor and claimable Thor of 1220. So that makes it really easy to keep track of your Thor rewards over time. And this button in the top right also shows us the Thor rewards earnings over time as a whole. So this chart is showing how much rewards are going back to VThor holders. This is through Thor bought from the Thor rune pool and distributed back to the VThor contract. And these come from trading fees. So here we can see the distribution history for all the past buys and keep track of how VThor is doing as a whole. So moving on to the next section, the middle Thor yield button. Here you'll find the learn section where there are a bunch of guides up at the top, as well as video guides like the one you're watching right now, all get updated here right in the app. So you can stay on top of everything new that's happening with Thor swap and Thor yield and how to use all the new features. And then next tab is the wallet. So let's add an account here. I can of course name it and have multiple again. I'm gonna pull up my same account with that same Thor name that I have. I'll click add Thor name. And for this example, I'm also going to add another address in, in this case, a Cosmos address. So we can actually track portfolio balances for any chain that is integrated into ThorChain. So I've added that Cosmos address and my Thor name is pulling a Binance, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and ThorChain address. And then I'll save this for my wallet. 
So here I can use this as an alternative to something like coin market cap and just track all of my portfolio balances. It will even pull tokens associated with that same address. So if I have ERC 20s at my Ethereum address, for example, this VThor at the bottom, or these other Cosmos assets that are showing up, same would be true for BEP2 assets under BNB. And we can also click into each coin or token for some more info. For example, I'll click into Bitcoin and I can get price history right here in the app, as well as some Thorchain pool stats like the APY, the TVL and the volume. And so this is just a really convenient way to keep track of your portfolio balances on top of just what you're LPing and staking, not just that, but also just monitoring what you're holding. This slider icon at the top right allows us to hide certain chains or tokens if we would like to do that. For example, I'll hide Osmosis and now that is missing here. So if something was showing up that you didn't want to be tracking, you could do that. And lastly, let's check out some other options under the settings tab. So let's say you wanted to add additional wallets to an existing LP account or an existing portfolio account rather than adding additional ones. You could go up to accounts here and let's say I go into LP account in this example. And for the one we called LP account with the Ethereum address, I could edit this and add additional addresses to show up under that account. So maybe you have your LPs split up into a couple different strategies and you wanna track those separately. You could have separate accounts and add specific addresses to each account. So let's just go back here. And same for wallet. If I want to add to my portfolio, I can edit this and enter more chain addresses here and then they'll show up under my portfolio view. And same thing would go for staking if I want to monitor an additional address for Thor staking. And then we have under LP metrics, this toggle will allow us to view our asymmetric LP additions as if they are symmetrical. So if you've watched our other Thor Yield video breaking down really how to dig in and analyze your positions, you'll remember that this feature can be really useful because it can give you a more fair in a way snapshot of what is truly happening with your LP that you added asymmetrically and view it as if you started at 50-50. So that's a nice feature to have. We also have other app settings like changing the default currency, uh, you can switch from dark mode to light mode if you'd like. You can add additional security like a passcode and soon there will be other languages as well. And then here you have all the relevant ThorSwap links to get more support. You can jump into the ThorSwap Discord if you ever need to open a support ticket or you need specific one-on-one -on -one private help with something as well as links to all of our other channels and documentation if you want to learn more and dive deeper into ThorSwap and ThorYield. So that's a quick overview of the new and very much improved ThorYield app, complete with the learn section, guides and videos, LP tracking, Thor staking tracking, and overall wallet portfolio tracking.